Hi there! Welcome and welcome back to The Whole Bucket. I am Cheryl and this is a package of stuff that I am, am going to use to make two small journals. So this is a bunch of leftovers and stuff that got misplaced and, and stuff that would generally go in a scrap bin or be put away back where they belong, that kind of stuff. But instead of doing that, I thought I would take this whole pack and see if I can make two rather smallish journals, like single signature journals. I want to do, um, well, we'll get to that later. Okay, so here's what I want to do right now. Right now, I want to pull everything out and kind of divide it into two books. And I took a look at it before, so it's kind of divided, but it's not like all set. Um, I thought I would just be making one small journal out of this, but there's actually more in here than I thought. So I think, I think we can get two. And by small, I mean, I'm thinking just one signature and maybe five or six pages at the most. Six at the most. Um, so even four or five or six pages in it. And I'm setting aside all this little stuff. I don't think I'll use all of this stuff in these journals, and I don't think I'll use only this stuff. Um, but what I might do is instead of pulling out anything new, see if I can complete these from my misplaced pile and the scrap box that is sitting next to me. Okay, so here's what I have. These are some um, chipboard pieces that are cut for book covers. And um, I was recently in the hospital, and while I was away, my kitties decided they would do some redecorating in my studio, and they knocked over um, some supplies that I have prepped. Yeah, it's lovely. Thanks, kitties. Anyway, some of the stuff got knocked. I put most of it away. This stuff got knocked, like, under a cabinet and I didn't find it until later, and I'm like, oh, I'm just so tired. So it ended up getting set aside in any case. So there's that, and I found that there is, there's actually a couple more spines left over, and there's, I think, one more piece of big cart cardstock. But already I have two, let's set them this way so they can stay kind of in camera, because we'll create the piles this way. So I have two cardstock um, book cover bases. And then I found that I had some pieces of paper that were actually already folded and some other pieces that I folded last night um, that could go into signatures. So there's this one lined piece that's lined on both sides. And then there's a couple more of that that only got printed on one side. So I thought the one could go here and the two could go here, perhaps, perhaps. And then there's two of these um, pages of my tea dyed paper. This is the one that I make that I call confetti. <laughs> um, not because of the way it looks, but because of the way I make it. Um, and one of those could go in each one. Now this is a page shy so I have this extra tea dyed paper that's just plain. I'll put that over there. I only have one vellum page. So I'm not sure who's going to get the vellum page. Let's see what else we've got. I've got this um, page that is in fact printed on both sides. And I believe this one is as well. It is. 
and they go together. So I wonder if I do one with this stuff and one with, gosh, this is only dyed on one side and it's all weird, but then I could put the vellum on this one. I don't know, maybe like that. So then this one has one, two, three, four, five pages. And this one has one, one, two, three, four, five pages. Okay, so let's do that then. Except, yeah, let's do that. I was going to say I think that the feeling of these are, maybe this one needs to have the vellum and this one needs to have Oh gosh, look at me, changing my mind already. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put the vellum here and I'm gonna put all the lined pages over here. So now we have two completely different attitudes. Okay. Okay, I like that better so far. Oh, that's what, I don't remember what's in here exactly. Okay, so just more bits and more cover cardstock. And there's like, there's a whole print there. Um, and more pieces and more pieces. And that's thicker than I want for pages. Okay. There is something else I want to add in here though. And it's these over here. Where are the rest of them? So I do want to make these junk journal styles, so I do want to put stuff in that um, is not necessarily just a full page and um, not necessarily stuff you'd use from a, for a junk journal. That's the one I want to get rid of. So these are a weird development in packing material. They, um, they're the same paper and they are perforated in the same sections. Um, so Amazon or FedEx or whatever, when packages come, this is in there all crinkled up, right? But for some reason, it's glued in the middle. So look at that. Talk about something that's like predestined for a signature, right? And I have a bunch of them because I order everything I possibly can. And I think I'm going to switch that because this one's a bit grungier and I think this is going to be the bit grungier journal and this is going to be the bit um, cleaner, although you often can't tell the difference. <laughs> you often can't tell the difference when it comes to my journals. Oh. Sip of coffee. Now, I think... I'm going to create more pages. I know I said only five or six pages each, but I meant the full pages. Then I want to add. Um, then I want to add more bits, right? Um, I can add this as a pocket page to each one because I have two of those. I'm going to cut this in half and I'm going to trim this and put that in there. I think tea dyed tissue paper or tracing paper. I wonder if I should save this for making stuff. I think I will. What's this? I think I'll save that for making things as well. Um, I have these three sheets. I don't know if I'll use those at all because they're kind of a totally different attitude, but I might. These are super heavy cardstock. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't even know where they came from. And then this pile. So that's what we'll look at next. Okay. This is what we'll look at next and we'll figure out how this is going to go in there or if it's going to go in there. So I have these fairies. I don't usually like putting people in my journals, so I usually end up with these as leftovers a lot. Um, I might put some fairies in these journals, I'm not sure. 
But let's see if there are any pages in here, whole or otherwise, that could be put in. Or if we just save this stuff for making the bits and bobs. Look at that, that's just lovely. So flips, and then this could go on the inside of the flip, right? That's kind of cool. I don't know what this is. Rickety Snippets Printables. As with all Rickety Snippets printables, please do not share or resell these images. I don't know if that means you can't sell these in a journal if you make a journal out of them, or if you just can't sell the digital stuff, which not so, not reselling the digital stuff totally makes sense because that's that person's work, right? I love this. Let's see what we've got here. That's one-sided. That's also one-sided. Maybe we do this or this and have yet another page. I did say possibly six, so possibly six. We'll take a look at that in a minute. This one actually color-wise goes with that, so let me try that. Color-wise, does this go here? Oops, let me... I don't think so, and it's so Art Deco or Art Nouveau. I'm not sure which, I'm not sure what the difference is, but I don't think this is going to go in either, so I'm going to set it aside just because it kind of throws me. And this one is, I don't know, very industrial, kind of. The attitude, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I already put one of those in each one. This one, I think I will cut in half and put a bit in each one. So let's pull out a paper trimmer quick. We'll just flop it right on there. Let me just see where the center is. So I want to cut it this way. Well, that would be very different from what I always do. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut it the hot dog way. Or vertically <laughs> could also be called. So I'm going to put one of those in each one and I'm going to trim this and see if it, there's enough of it left when I get some decent edges on it to put it in a signature. Ah! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, let's... Okay. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Let's set that aside again, and let's assume that it's going to go over here. I don't know that the, thing, the signatures will stay this way, but let's take a look at what we've got for each one now. We don't need the cover part yet. So if we put this together in no particular order, oh, here, let me fold these in half quick. I guess I'll have to do them one at a time because they're all goofy sizes, but. I will better incorporate them once decisions are final. Okay. All right, so let's put this thing in somewhere. And we'll put, hey, where's the plastic bag for this one? 
Was that it that I set aside? Okay. So let's do this. And this. And this. I don't know if I'll keep this tab part and cardboard on there or not. So I'm just not going to worry about taking it on. Leave it. I'm not going to worry about that decision right now. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. This one. And let's put this one here. And we got to tuck this one in somewhere. Not here. Not here. Let's tuck it in right here. All right. Let's see what we've got. So, if this is a journal, the pages do not have to stay in this order. And right now, all I basically have is full pages and half pages, so I might make some differences here, find things that are in between or whatever. But this is basically what my signature would be. And rearranging is not what I'm worrying about right now. What I'm thinking about as I flip through this is is this a cohesive book and can I work in the colors and do I see a theme sort of, right? So I think this one is very neutral because there's a lot of undone stuff in here. I'm wondering if this page is going to end up having to go over there. So really this one is, um, as I'm going through it, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking this one is so neutral that I don't get any kind of feeling from it. None. I am, I mean, other than thinking that this page might have to go over here, this really gives me zero vibes of any kind. Um, what I am noticing though is off to the side is this page that I put over here and these are kind of different attitudes but friendly colors so let me see if we let's look at the other signature and see if we want to make some changes oh my look at that huh. black paint blobs on this pink dyed paper that. Let's fold this in half. I did say I wasn't going to worry about trimming, but I actually might on this one because it looked, no, I guess I'm not going to, but I was thinking about it because it looks like it's going to be inset a little more than others, and I just wanted to demonstrate that when I flip through, but Oh, good grief. I can think about it at the time. So let's take a look at some pieces. What do we got going on over here? So I always like the vellum pieces. Um, I always like when a signature starts with a vellum piece. One of my favorite things. And I think I would like it a lot if it had a color that showed through. Yep, like that. Love that. Okay, a neutral, a short, a not so neutral, a baggy or bag or something, um, a tea dyed page. Yikes. Come on, guys. Stick together. Tea dyed page. Let's do another dyed page. Actually, let's do the pink one. And this beautiful design. I wonder what kit this is printed from, because gosh, that's pretty. 
and then this guy. And I think I already see what change I want to make. So let's see what you think of this. Let's do this flip through quick. And then I already know something I want to do or think about. So here is... This is already looking like some inspired stuff and some matching colors. I'm liking the attitude except this. This I don't like in here because this feels... It just has, has a totally different feel to me. So if I take that out, I think I'd like to put this in. That means this could go over here. I also think I would like to switch like these trees and leaves and stuff don't have an industrial feel oh my gosh it could have both of those I could have left it together silly girl I think I'd like to take the pink page out of here and put it in here But then what would I move over there? Another tea dyed page? Oh gosh, I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I do this dark cyan blue over here and I do pink over here. In which case, <laughs> okay, when you do this, you do not have to be as fussy as I'm being. I am ridiculous about this stuff. It's entirely true, but I'm talking through the thought processes, right? So that you can see what kinds of processes go into making these decisions. Okay, what if I do pink and yellow over here? And I do the teal color over here. Let's take a look at how this would be. There's the start of the teal color. And then we have a lot of neutrals. Neutrals, teal, neutrals. Sit, stay, tea dyed, and teal. So I'm liking this. This has this has potential for me. Now you when you're doing this, you might think, no, that doesn't go together at all. And you might put these same pages together completely different. And that's what makes your individual style. Right? So don't worry about, oh, what would so and so do, right? Like if you watch a bunch of the the big wigs in junk journal making. Don't worry about copying so much, although copy if you want to, because that's a totally legit way to learn stuff. There we go. There's another teal. Oh, this should go over here. This one is going to be way short of pages if I keep doing this, though. Okay, I'm going to take this page and put it on the outside because I like that as a signature cover. I'm going to take one of these pages and put it in the center because I do not want a small page alone in the center. At least I don't think I do. So let's just put this here and stack up the pink in the center. But that means the pink is only on the outside and in the center, so decorating might be adding more pink stuff to it. Now, let's see what we've got. One, two, three, that feels heavy, four, five, 
six full pages. We might have ended up even Steven. Even though I did all that switching around and didn't really pay attention to what I was doing. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five. Haha, <laughs> we did. Six. Okay, well, look at that. We have two full page signatures with a bunch of little stuff added in. Loving that. I love that. Now, um, I want to add a few of these bits and pieces over here, and I'll show you what I mean. So, I don't want to put this in as a second half sheet in this book, but I definitely want it to go in this book. So, what I'm going to do right now is now that I have the signatures decided, I'm going to put that one there, put that one there. We have covers or at least cover stock, right? We have signatures decided. Now I'm gonna figure out some more of these scraps like, and make sets. I want, I like to repeat patterns and concepts with it throughout a book. So since this is already in this book, I'm gonna save that and use it in another place in that book. There's two of these. And I don't know that they're going to get used at all because I don't love this. But it might be a really good background um, for something. And it is in the teal colors that are in here. So I'm just going to put this over here. Here, let's tuck it underneath because it's kind of big. Here are some pink scraps, and I and we put the pink stuff in this book, so I'm going to go ahead and add that over there. I am back to the Art Nouveau Deco <laughs> bits, and I still don't like this for either. So I'm going to put this over on my scrap bin and figure out what to do with those bits in another situation. Oh, look. Okay. This is the kit, Rickety Snippets. So, that is some kind of, it looks like it's some kind of spine, because it has a fold line, and then it has another fold line right next to it. They're very, very faint. There you can see them. Um, so, I might have to look up what these are. I'm assuming there might be some kind of, there might be some kind of, um, tutorial or some kind of video that shows what they are, but um, definitely it's got to go here, right? So grab that, I will grab that trimmer again and we'll cut at least that piece out because it goes with that one page. That's exciting. I really like that. That makes it easy to repeat that pattern elsewhere. Now this is dark blue. It doesn't go with either book necessarily. So I'm going to save that for a maybe pile. This also maybe pile. Unfortunately, these also a maybe pile because these flips are super cool, but they don't go with either of these junk journals necessarily. We'll take a look at that later. Here is a piece. It doesn't have a lot of pink, but it does have some teal, especially in this guy and this and this lady over here. I don't, I still don't really care for using people in my journals. It's really a hang up for me. Even fairies, which I love and I don't consider like human people. <laughs> I don't think using fairy people creates a personal identity. I think that's why I don't like using people people. Because to me that creates a personal identity and I think that journals should belong, the personal identity associated with a journal should be 
created by the owner of the journal. Does that is that weird? I don't know. Did I say that in a I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever. Same with these ladies. Um gorgeous, um, but two on the blue side, and again, I just I don't know. We'll put those aside. But look, we have some more teal going on here. So I think I think I'm gonna cut out the thistle bits. I'm gonna cut out the thistle bits and put those over here. I think I'm gonna cut out these button bits too and put them on the other side because they're certainly not pink, but they certainly do go with this pattern and they're neutral. So there we go. All right, I've got a pile of stuff we're saving for later in the maybe department. And we got a pile of stuff that we're feeling pretty good about creating a journal with. So I'm basically creating a kit for myself out of leftovers from lots of other kits. This is just gonna stay in the supplies department as will all these little bits. This doesn't even go in here. I will put that away. Um, I have these little tabs from a prototype I was making. I suppose these could go in either or so they can stay there. These cards can always go so anywhere. Another tab, an envelope, who knows. Ooh, this is that cicada paper. I don't know if this goes with either one, really, because it's very orange. We'll see. That probably doesn't go in either book. Little bits and bobs. What about this guy? Very, very neutral. I'm not sure if that should go. Supplies. Th these won't go in either. I'll have to figure out where to put those away. Also, just a cardstock. So, this is a little makeup envelope. I recently pulled these out of my little storage spot to add these to a project, a collab project that I'm doing with five other ladies. And I just can't figure out how to use these puppies. They're so cool looking, but... Oh, look at that though. It's got a little window and it's a little envelope. I think I'm going to put this one over here. Just because I think it kind of goes. So here's an interesting thing. This is, um, so my son recently took up 3D printing and there are lots of, you know, stuff that doesn't quite work out in 3D printing. This is a piece of that, and this is not a mistake or a fail, but it's just a, a frame piece. I don't know what I'll do with those, but I am determined that they will not be wasted filament, that I will find a use for them. And I think we'll leave this as stock also. I think, oh, no, we're not done. Sorry. Sorry, we're not done. We got this pile. We are almost done with um, decisions at this particular point. I was going to put a paper bag in each one. I always like this idea, but then I never follow through with it. I'm not sure what that's all about. <sighs> we'll save it. Oh, look it. There's a really cool little butterfly, and he's in the pink department. Let's put him over there. Again with the chartreuse, totally not going in either one of these. There's another paper bag I want to put in a book at some point. Something on the purple side. I don't know that these really go. Book page is just basically stock for anybody. 
more cicada paper, book page, blah, 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 blah. This, I don't know if this goes to either. This might go here. I think I'm going to put there, that there to think about that. I love this paper. I don't know if it goes with either. I think I'm going to put it here. I'm not sure why, other than this has a foresty feel to me so far, and this has a foresty feel to me. <laughs> that makes sense, right? And there we go. All right, so one last flip through of all the things, and we'll see where we're at. And if we like these as a kit for a small single signature journal. Basically what this is doing now is creating a mood board. So I'm going to lay it all out as if it were a mood board and see if it all makes sense. Okay, and I should pull it closer so you can see more of it. There we go. We do not need the cardstock to show, but I want to keep it together, so we'll just put it under there. Let's stick this under a bit. I want to be able to see that it's printed vellum, but I don't need to see the whole thing. And then I'm going to take the signature apart again but only so much that we're going to, in so much that we're going to be able to see the colored pages. Okay. So far, it's looking good. We don't need to see the this stuff by themselves totally. We don't need to see this by itself totally. We should see this one by itself and this one by itself. There we go. So this is basically a mood board. If you're not sure what a mood board is, it's where you just pull a bunch of stuff together um, to demonstrate where you want to go with a product. So um, if I wanted to continue this mood board, I might start pulling inks that I want to use with this particular set of stuff. I might pull out beads and charms and yarns and just anything. Like, how can I expand this palette? If you think of this as a paint palette, this is all going to go together to make one project, right? And I could add in more of the detail stuff to do just that. Right now, I'm liking this. This makes sense to me and feels like a thing that I could work with. So I'm not even going to bother putting the signature back together. I'm just going to pile this back up and call that good. There is a kit for one journal set that aside and let's check the other one in the same way. So again, just creating a mood board out of the stuff that I've gathered so far. And we want the full pages to show. And I think I'm going to show this side. On this side is that same pattern as in this. And I want to show this cream color more because of these pages. Lots of cream color going on in these pages. And I'm not entirely sure this is going to work. Also, I'm going to show this. This, the leaves on one side and the tree on the other side because I'm not sure that this is going to work. <laughs> Although there's leaves up there, right? 
and they do swing to the blue so maybe this can use some of that blue stuff that I wasn't sure of right and maybe um maybe we can pull some of that out because of that and it can be pink and blue we don't need to see that whole thing or that whole thing I'm already showing this page and the tree page so we'll tuck that underneath We'll show the dyed pages a bit. See if we can get a cohesive color scheme going. So far, I don't like this one at all. Let me pull it down again. I'm working too far away from me. There we go. So far, I'm not liking this. I just, and I might, I might actually sew it together and create a journal with it, even though I don't like it, because I th might force myself to figure out how to pull this one together because I, th I really like a challenge in creativity from time to time. So I don't necessarily shy away from things that I'm finding difficult in my brain, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't necessarily shy away. Sometimes I completely run away. So that doesn't need to show. We've already got that over here. We've got this thingy. We've got butter moth. And we've got more of this. So yeah, um, very soft, very harsh. Very soft, very harsh. And I completely hid the tree, which I really wanted to see. So let's shift some stuff. Does the tree go? Do these papers go? Can I do anything with this? All right, so I'm looking in my screen. If you ever do um, YouTube content and you're filming like I am right now, and you set stuff out and you're not sure how it looks look up at your screen because it is totally different when you're looking at it at an angle like this and when you look at it from the bird's eye view more directly when I'm looking at it in my screen I can actually see a direction that this might go. So I'm going to be really brave. Eee! It's only paper. It's only paper. It's fine. Um, I'm going to be really brave and I'm going to make this journal right here and I'm going to try to make it make sense. Eee! I don't know. Anyway, two, two little kits put together for two small journals. Single signature junk journals. Nicely done. There's this one right here. And let's pull out the pocket too. There we go. Or maybe like that. And the moth is trying to escape. The butter moth. I think that's a moth. But I'm not sure. And there's this one. And I don't know what we would call either one of them. But there are the two kits that I have made for all those scraps and I'm going to just end it here um, and tune in next time for how we start creating the covers and sew the signatures together and I think that'll be the next step that I do possibly oh shoot I forgot about um, stamping and stenciling which you should do before you do the sewing okay I'm not sure what will come up next. Stay tuned and find out. Please subscribe and like and all that stuff. I always forget to say those things, but um, there will be a little squirrel on the screen at the end, and he's my subscribe button. And um, if you want to see more um, journal creation, I will start a playlist, and we will have more journal creation. And that's where you will find the story of these two journals and other journals that I make in the future. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye!